Hey everyone, my name is Ronald here. I am uh, doing this video. This will actually be my first YouTube video. Uh, this video is in reference to a lot of you who has uh, the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S4. Now, I am on the Verizon network, so I don't know what this is like for you guys who are on AT&T and Sprint. Uh, if that, if this uh, remote location service uh, is on you guys' phone. Uh, many of you have been looking on YouTube. There are a lot of videos out there that saying, hey, this is how you activate the remote location service. So in the case that if you ever lose your Galaxy phone, you'll be able to find it by going to a website on, um, on your computer and locating your device as long as it is on and active. Uh, many of you, again, has been going on uh, YouTube there's a lot of videos that's telling you how to activate it. Even on the Samsung website, they're showing you how to activate it. And we all who have the Galaxy S4, maybe in the S3, maybe on just the Verizon network, or maybe it's the same with Sprint and AT&T. We follow these instructions. We go there and we don't see that particular uh, feature available in uh, the settings like they say they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here, all the way out of here. I was kind of already in here. Okay, on the videos on YouTube, this is what they say to do to activate the remote location service so that you can activate it, turn it on, and be able to track your phone if you lose it or if it gets stolen. They tell you to go to settings, and forgive me if my face get out of proportion of the video, uh, but just follow my voice and, the, and, and me on the video here with my finger on the actual S3 phone. They tell you to go to settings. You click on settings and then they say go to security to the security feature. This is the S3, so once you click on that, you just scroll down and you'll see security. Now, in security, that should be a, 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 a tab here that says um, remote location service, and you should click on it, turn it on. Well, I don't see that on the S3 on the Verizon network, nor on the S4 on the Verizon network okay so I was kinda of frustrated because I really didn't want to install those little cheesy apps that you know to say find my find my phone and all that stuff I really didn't want that I wanted the one that was built into the actual application so I went to the Verizon store they couldn't help me uh, they gave me this 800 number to call Verizon and I talked to uh, the Samsung uh, service support guy that for Verizon and they uh, told me how to activate that service but this is not a part of the Galaxy S4 phone it's actually a service through Google so if you go out of this and you go back to your home screen this is how you activate that remote location service so click on apps and it bring up all your apps if you notice here um, this is already said on the first screen if you notice this little link, this little tab here, let's see if we can get it to focus in here a little better for you. All right, I'm trying to get down here and get my phone to adjust. Maybe I keep it still. Okay, if you look right here, you see this little uh, app right here that says Google Settings. You want to click, uh, go on your home screen, uh, click on your apps tab bring up all your apps you want to scroll through your home screen until you find this little G with the little wheel on it uh, like the little um, gear wheel and that says Google settings you want to click on that and if you notice there in Google's under the Google settings look what we find under the Android device manager we see remote locate this device on the S4, it'd be a little different. When you click on that, then you have to click on the tab that says Android Device Manager, and then you'll see it under that under the S4. But on the S3, it's right there up front as soon as you click on the settings uh, feature. So what you do, this is how you remotely uh, activate the Locate This Device feature that we've been looking for, but it's under the tab Google Settings. Click on it. Click on Remotely, remotely Locate This Device and you also want to check the box that says um, allow 
you know remote let's go back out you want to click on this this box here that says allow remote lock and factory reset if your phone gets stolen and you want to just lock it or you want to just factory reset it to erase any important files or data that's on it um, so what you do you check that this screen comes up here which says activate device administrator if you see it there and what you do on the activate device administrator you want to go ahead and say activate so you can activate the location service now that you click activate the service is now activated so if you go out and back what you do now now that the service has been activated what you want to do now and so we're going to kind of walk across my room here a little bit and we're going to get on my computer and I'm going to show you the website forgive me for the light and the moving around here I'm just really bad with trying to multitask with with an actual phone and all that stuff uh, in my face here okay on the computer you want to go to this website and let's see if I can get it to show up here in the uh, what you call them thing here I'm gonna hold that there just for a little bit until you guys get it write it down it's uh www.google.com slash forward slash android forward slash device manager can y'all see that there there we go I'm gonna hold it there just for a couple of seconds okay that's the website you go to to activate the Google um, Android device manager uh, website so that you can track your device now on in in this website once you get in here it's going to ask you to log in and you log in with your Google account now that's another thing you guys you will need a Google account and a Google password so if you have a Google Google account you need to set that up on your phone the Google account set up on your phone and when you get here to this website it's going to ask you to actually in it's going to ask you to log on to your Google account when you log in it's going to look for your phone and now that the service is activated on the phone it's going to search for your phone and it's going to find it and it's going to display this message when it finds your phone it said last located at and it's going to give the the actual device name of your phone uh, which you see mine is the SCHI545 and as you can see there you can click ring you can click lock your phone and you can click erase it and it also shows you here now I ain't gonna put that up there. I don't want nobody. I don't want you guys knowing why I stay. So I'm not gonna throw my address up there too long. And so hopefully you didn't catch it. If you did, that's fine. I'm a computer service guy company. So if you need some service and you're local, just give me a call 951-639-7873. Just advertising, free advertising, right? Okay. But anyhow, what you'll see here is this little location here shows where my phone is. It's at my location where I'm at right now and it's give you accurate direct accurate information on the spot letting you know exactly where you are it give you the exact address of the location now if you look back here you notice that this says that it's accurate to 20 meters so that's pretty close and pretty accurate to the T of where your device will be when you're looking for it uh, my address there so if you guys you know want to drop by and hang out and kick it sometime you're more than welcome to but anyhow that is how you activate your um, S3, S4 on the Verizon network. Go to Google Settings, uh, which is an app tab on your phone. Go in there and then click on the Device Manager, the Google Device Manager, or the Android Device Manager. And then just go ahead and select Remote Locate uh, Device. And also check the box to send to, to um, reset, erase, you know, the factory conditions. Um, in that aspect as well so hey thank you guys for watching this video this is my first one I know I'm kind of you know a greenhorn at this but I'm gonna look hopefully look out to be doing many more look out for many more videos from me and um, go ahead and just uh, hit me up in the description or ask any questions I'd be more than happy to help you with that alright peace thank you for watching look for, for more videos